Penrose, welcome. Thanks for making time on the agenda today. This is uh, this is really very very important to St. Jude Medical Center. Um, this is, um, as you just heard, a TEFRA hearing, which uh, is nothing more than, uh, it, my, uh, in my words, translation and endorsement by the city of Fullerton uh, for the bond financing that we're uh, that we're seeking today. Um, there is no legal or financial obligation for the city. I uh, want to make sure that that's clear. Um, all uh, legal and financial obligations incurred by this bond issuance are by St. Jude Medical Center and uh, St. Joseph Health System. Ten years ago, uh, I went to the CEO of the St. Jude's Hospital and said, um, I uh, am a member of the St. Jude staff and am running for council and I would appreciate your endorsement. And he said that we are an apolitical organization and we can't do that. And I pointed out, well, you know, uh, I think I would be a good spokesman for the hospital. And he said, I'm sorry, we can't do that. Now, I know in other areas, uh, uh, physicians are often to, uh, in, encouraged to run for a public office so that they can help uh, uh, formulate uh, health policy and so forth. Anyway, it didn't happen. I went ahead and uh, was elected without an endorsement. And for the past 10 years, I've rubber stamped everything that they have come to this council about. I've even encouraged people on the council why it is important to do this. I'm concerned about St. Jude's uh, uh, agenda now. And for that reason, I want to uh, continue this item till I have further clarification. <laughs> Well, first of all, I don't think that Don Hoppe is the only alleged ridiculous person in this room. Um, you know, one of the things when you go to Washington or Sacramento, you are a long ways from home. All politics are local. And so when you vote to give aid to Uruguay, Folks in the town don't even know what you're talking about or talk about restrictions on logging or maritime issues or government interference in the health care. Uh-uh. Your opinions on that, most of them are unknown to the representatives up there. They're, they're getting word from lobbyists. In this city, this is where the rubber hits the road. We are representatives and we truly represent the people in the majority. And the majority does not want this thing paved. Therefore, I am totally 100% against it because that's representative government. I'm not worried about the aid to Turkey or Karakistan or some one of these other places, which none of us know about the waste that goes on in the federal and state government. But those would be my thoughts. Appreciate your work in the past, Congressman. When I went to see you in Congress, I had an issue that I was thought was very, very important. You don't give a damn about it. Okay.